Hi people! Today I want to talk about plagiarism in the art world. What is it exactly and is there any way to get around it and hasn't everything been done before and you know I just have tons of questions like that because a couple of years ago I found a a picture, a JPEG online somewhere. I don't know if it was on MySpace or Photo Bucket or wherever, but I saw this picture of a painting that I really liked. And I felt like painting and I didn't have any ideas, so I thought I'd try to paint this painting that I saw that I liked so much, right? And also, I saw more to that painting than was there. So, my question is this, if you copy a painting, not, I don't mean photocopy or anything like that, I mean just with your own eye, copy, paint, draw, what you see, it's not going to be exactly like that artist's work, and even if you use the same color palette, you know what I mean, it won't be, you know, exact, an exact replica. Is that plagiarism? Sometimes I feel like it is, and other times I think, well, when I was in high school, the teacher had us copy, you know, all the masters. And back in the day, I think that's what all the nouveau artists did, was they copied the great masters, you know. Some of them were alive still, some of them were dead. So is it plagiarism if you copy a dead person's art? Or is it not plagiarism if, or is it plagiarism only if they're alive? I don't know. Plagiarism is plagiarism, right? I have no idea, that's why I'm asking. Well, anyway, so I, I love this painting, and I wanted to uh, paint it for my friend who was in Florida, my friend Cece. Um, I saw the painting as a mermaid, so I was going to give it to her, and as most of you know, or some of you might already know, she, she passed away a couple years ago when I was down there, so it never came to fruition. Well, now that I've moved to this new apartment, I had the per per perfect place to put this mermaid, so I finished it, and... Uh, I just want to know if you think it's uh, plagiarism. I don't know who the artist was, and if I ever did, I've forgotten it now, and I feel really bad, so otherwise I would give them credit. It's my first triptych, and um, I, the, fir the first part of it, that her face, her head, her body, her upper torso, I should say, is what I saw online. And I have changed it uh, some, and you'll see, it, uh, you'll probably see this somewhere around here. I'm going to put a little insert in and show you the work that I've been doing on it to finish it. But what is plagiarism? I mean, it's really easy to figure out in the, in the liter world of literature because, you know, someone writes a quote and if you copy that quote, you really should give them credit for it, right? And if you take that quote and you change it a little bit, does that make it yours? I'm really not clear on all this. It's not like I'm going to go out and sell this painting or try to sell copies of this painting or anything like that. I would never do something like that, especially if I got the idea from another artist. But tell me, if, if you're going to paint something that you see that you like and change it a little bit and hang it in your own home, is that okay? I mean, are artists okay with that? I mean, my mother used to say that the most sincere form of flattery was an imitation. Is that how she said it? Imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. Yeah. Anyway, so that's about all I have to say. Let me know your feelings on this. What's plagiarism in the art world? What isn't? Has everything already been done? Has everything already been painted? Is there still original ideas in the world? I mean, because we all get our inspiration somewhere. Well, usually my street's pretty quiet. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, we all get our inspiration somewhere. So is getting your inspiration from another artist and what is plagiarism? I'm, I'm really confused about all of this. What are your thoughts? Let me know. Bye, people. This is the piece that I saw online. Only difference is I did her hair just a little bit differently. The color palette is basically the same, but there wasn't any gold leaf on the one I on the picture on the JPEG I sent online. But that's basically her. And the reason I thought she was a mermaid is the yellow eyes, because you're supposedly never allowed to see a mermaid's face or look into her eyes. That's why you see so many 
uh, panes of mermaids with their back to you. But since her eyes were yellow and kind of creepy looking, well, I thought that's what made her the mermaid. One of the reasons why. There she is, in all her glory. And she is in, I just finished taking a shower, maybe you a tasteful bathroom. La la! My gorgeous bathroom in my new apartment. Don't know if I showed you this yet. But there it is. And here's another mirror. <laughs> but isn't she just gorgeous? And, well, since we're in a landlock, pretty much, the only water around here is the Ohio River. I don't think she wants to swim in that. So the closest she's going to get to any water is this big, beautiful bathtub.